Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can unlock the grease gun here in Call of Duty Vanguard. This weapon was a fan favorite in World War II. It packed a serious punch, and with this conversion, I was able to drop a very easy V2 rocket. I think I was able to do so as well. So, without being said, like on this video is going to be 400 likes. If you guys do enjoy the content on the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Let's go ahead and get into the conversion. Alright, so to go ahead and create the grease gun, we're going to start off with the well gun. This deal to weapon is free for everyone, so you can immediately go ahead and use this variation. For the most, we are going to rock the strife compensator. We can go ahead and bump up that recoil control, making this weapon a monster at longer ranges. We're going to keep it true to the grease gun, because in Call of Duty World War II, this weapon was a slow firing, hard hitting submachine gun that did not move. Now for the underbarrel, we're gonna rock the M1941 hand stop to go ahead and bump up that recoil control as well as accuracy. Again, making this weapon incredibly easy to use at those longer ranges. Now for the barrel we have on the 240 millimeter barrel, this is gonna be perfect if you guys are trying to use this weapon how it was intended in Call of Duty World War II. We're gonna have less damage range fall off as well as increased limb damage. The headshot modus is gonna be completely irrelevant because we're gonna be dropping enemies off incredibly fast at medium longer ranges and also close range as well for the magazine we're actually going to go ahead and skip over this we're not going to run anything under this category we're going to keep it true to the grease gun now for the ammo type we are going to rock lengthen so we can go ahead and pack a punch further at longer ranges now for the optic we're actually going to go ahead and skip over this together as well so we have an iron sight that closely matches the grease gun from call of duty world war ii you guys can see here has the same circular iron sight that we had in the previous game now for the rear grip we are obviously going to run fabric grip best to run this on all of your smgs makes them better to use at those close to medium ranges again for the stock we're going to go ahead and not run anything here to kind of keep the look of the grease gun kind of transparent from game to game now efficiency we have on frenzy and then finally for the kit we are rocking fully loaded this is actually a pretty badass class setup and the conversion just works quite well so man the build is going to be the combat knife Ghost forward until scavenger, sticky bomb, as well as the stem shot. Give this a try and go ahead and drop the V2 rock with it. Ooh. Get over here. Nice, thank God. The last bullet I shot took the dog out. I don't know why I've been getting so many like KC. Dude, I've been getting nothing but KCs and like death matches and all out blitz. They definitely went ahead and altered the, the mode you get in higher frequently because I've been getting literally nothing but KCs and death matches. Like, I barely get like dominations or patrols now. It's always KC or death match, which is kind of irritating because like these modes are just like notorious for having people that just don't know how to move around the map play. And they love that and they realize that because the whole objective is to just kill people and obviously the more deaths you have the less advantageous you are for your team so it technically makes sense to just sit in a corner and not move and I mean these fellas clearly know this when playing KC or that I, I sometimes I love running the spawn and sometimes I don't when stuff like that happens you get in there and then they just start coming from all over the place. Go, baby. Castle is a damn good map. Though. Let me put the body armor on right now so I can actually go ahead and rush properly. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the good old counter UAV. Oh my goodness. He made his going balls to the wall crazy back there. What we can do here, push up if possible. Oh my God, look at all of them over here. I want to push up so bad. Okay, there we go. We got a UAV. We need that. Go, oh, baby. Dogs. Shit, dude. I got a local. Oh, 
Oh, this is so fucking bad. Where is the guy at? In a corner. Why am I not surprised? I actually completely got out of that area. Damn. Wow. <laughs> that, that, that spawn, bro. Bro, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not even going to try it. I just, I literally just mowed down like four of them right there. Body armor. Holy shit. Holy shit. Teammates, where y'all at, man? Help this out a little bit. Are you... Are you kidding me? Are oh, we got like... The lobby isn't completely chalked, but... We have like... Maybe one or two more tries to try to go ahead and get something done. Not 100% sure. They're literally lying down, bro. Counter. As long, I mean, as, as long as we can like rotate this. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> I I couldn't do shit right there. All right, so we can do here with the grease gun variation. Honestly, I don't know how I haven't created this yet. This is actually pretty damn effective and <laughs> You can seriously outgun a lot of AR players with this build just because of how accurate it is and how hard it hits. And I'm not even running a damaged magazine. Like I'm literally running the default magazine on here. And like you can legitimately go to work with this class. I think that's kind of why this is so good. And honestly, I don't know why the grease gun was never added. I feel like people are backing out. I don't really know why the grease gun was never added officially into multiplayer. Like it's a World War II submachine gun. It was in Call of Duty World War II. I mean, it was in other Call of Duties that were World War II based. They just didn't put it into Vanguard, which is incredibly strange. And honestly, I just feel like it... it ah, damn. We got shot from the side. Honestly, I just feel like it was supposed to come out. But because of just everything that happened this year and, and the people just, you know, not really... You know vibing out with vanguard and the developers kind of just you know abandoning and giving up on their game i think some guns just literally just didn't just make it because they just gave up and they just did not have time to go ahead and you know implement them into the files or i should say push out the files into the game because there's like no way that the grease gun like was not on like the planning to be dropped because like this thing is disgusting like you can legit just fry people the well gun looks pretty damn near close to the grease gun so i'm not really too sure how it just it never made it it just it just doesn't make sense and it's something i'm never gonna understand because there was so much they could have done with vanguard 
there was so much they could have done to just go ahead and just like freshen up this game get more people hyped up get more people excited i think we're dead here but they just never did it yeah like the amount oh my god the amount of fellas that are playing this game now that are sitting in corners is like kind of ridiculous and i don't really know what's going on i know there's a bunch back here and it, it wasn't like this like the whole year from my understanding you got them oh my god we got them both it wasn't like this the whole year from my understanding so i'm not really too sure like what is going on and like why there's so why there's so many like corner campers on this game all of a sudden because this is kind of getting ridiculous and like i like it's gotta stop like i know we only got a couple weeks left like none of this actually fucking matters like theoretically but like i don't know what's been going on man let me just have like a a fun final couple of weeks playing vanguard and we could go ahead and get on you know modern warfare 2 because like this is i mean guys you're seeing this right like the number of fellas that are just like corner camping is like it, it, it's kind of outrageous right now I mean we're frying right now you know we're, we're chopping these guys up we're doing our thing but like god damn Bro, oh, that spawn is just... You gotta be kidding me. They got hostile bombers now. I mean, these guys don't know what the fuck's going on. They're so disoriented. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... I just you, you know you're in a lobby where like 99% of the fellas that are in it are just straight hard campers. When you start running the spawns and like guys just completely fall apart when like you can't sit in corners anymore. It is, it's hilarious just to see how people play and how things start to kind of pan out. Attack dogs there we go. They, they 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 legitimately stopped playing. I don't I I I I mean I don't even I don't even feel right getting a nuke in here. Like, I mean actually I don't give a fuck really. <laughs> Let's be honest, a nuke's a nuke. I don't give a fuck. Like like but y'all y'all know what I mean. Like you could just tell when guys legitimately just have like a a defensive breakdown and they don't know what's going on. And this happens all the time in All Out Blitz. And I've been noticing it happening so often this last couple of weeks on this game. Just people just not knowing what's going on. And you're getting in these lobbies where, like, people are just quite literally crouch walking in corners. I mean, look at right there. People crouch walking in corners and people just not having a clue what's going on. Which, you know what? Fuck it. I'm all good for it. You know, I don't really care. It is the end of the day. If you haven't mastered Vanguard yet, if you haven't, you know, gotten the balls to, to move around the map and experience, you know, more than what's in the back of your spawn, I mean, that that's that's a you problem right there. And that's something that I've just noticed happening a lot on this game recently. I'm like, dude, like, I'm pushing their spawn right now and, like, the amount of them the amount of them that are just sitting in the back like i mean look at this let's see how long this fella just let let's see how long this guy just i mean look at this look at this guys how long is he gonna? Friendly bombing run inbound. I'm calling this nuke in. Hey, look. Those are the fellas that are still running Vanguard right now. Let's drop this. Those are the fellas that are still running Vanguard right now. 
I can't believe it. I, <laughs> hey, look, those are the guys that are still playing this game. We end up getting 80 kills.